Hi everyone, it's Jenny from the WOW Design Team and I'm excited to be joining you today to kick off the celebration hop showcasing WOW Embossing's new range of powders. I'm going to be showing you how I created this card which features the new trio Totally Amazing and you can find the next stop on the hop as well as a uh, link to the blog itself which has more details on a giveaway that's happening in the description box below. Here's a look at the trio itself. It features three powders. They are gilded, iced teal, and the real teal. Love the puns. And you'll see that that one's translucent. That's signified by the T. Gilded is opaque. And then this one is also opaque. And the M means it's a mix of powders. With different, like a mixed blend. And the best thing about opaque powders is you can use them on darker colored cardstock. So I've grabbed a panel of A2 uh, black cardstock here and I'm going to completely coat it in WOW embossing ink and then gilded powder. Now gilded is kind of like, it's like a champagne-y kind of colour. It's like a, like a mix of like pearly white cream, um, maybe kind of off gold. It's, it's quite hard to explain. It's really pretty. And I'm going to completely cover that A2 size panel and then heat it up with my heat tool. And then here's a quick look. It's quite a smooth powder. It doesn't have glitter in it, um, but I'm gonna use this to die cut this ornate oval frame from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm going to be creating a shaker card today, and uh, this frame is really elegant, really good to uh, create my shaker window with. I die cut it once from my embossed panel, and then twice more from 110 pound uh, Nina Solar White cardstock, which is good and sturdy. And then I'm going to add some liquid glue and then stack all of those pieces together and then put them under a heavy acrylic block just to make sure they dry flat. Now I'm not done with my embossing yet, so I'm going to grab another panel of cardstock. This one will be a white cardstock. This is WOW Embossing's own cardstock. And I'm going to coat it completely again with embossing ink. And then this time I'm going to do both the iced teal, which is a translucent powder, so that's why I'm using white cardstock. Um, but it has little flecks of glitter. It's really pretty blue color. I'm going to coat that over half of the cardstock, making sure to catch any of the excess in my coffee filter and filter it back into the jar before then going to my second color, which is the real teal, and uh, coating that on the second half of the panel. And you don't get a perfect blend. I wasn't too careful to try and get it blending perfectly because I'm going to be die cutting this panel with quite an intricate cover plate and that will hide any of that kind of harsh line in the middle. But look at that, you get a, that, that is such a pretty color in the light. It's hard to see in the video, but the glitter really sparkles. It's, it's really pretty. Now I'm going to use this stacked diamond cover plate. It's very detailed. So I hope you have a good die cutting machine, but it cuts through the embossing powdered uh, panel perfectly. I'm just gonna flip it around, add it over the top, run it through my die cutting machine. And I didn't even have to try too hard to pop out these pieces, it cut perfectly. The WOW embossing white cardstock is not too thick, so I didn't have any problems. And then I'm just going to adhere it to another panel of uh, black cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half by using glue on the outer edges because it is so detailed. Now here's a look at my stacked oval ornate frame and I'm going to add some acetate behind that. Now this is quite a tricky shape to cut the acetate for so I just kind of roughly cut it to size with my giant fabric scissors and then sort of gradually trimmed it around. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just don't want any um, pieces peeping off the edge and then I'm going to glue it to the back of the frame and there were a couple of places where it did slightly overlap with those little um, holes around the frame but it, you can't notice it it's really Im basically impossible to see and then I'm going to pop that under an acrylic block again just to make sure that it dries completely now I'm going to, for my shaker bits, be using cr crystals. They're quite chunky, so I wanted to make sure that I get some good dimension between the frame and the back of the card uh, so that they're not the pieces don't get stuck. So I'm using these thin foam strips. These are from Doris that you've probably seen me use and you probably have in your stash for using with uh, thinny, thin 
sentiments on cards. And I'm going to do a double layer of those all the way around the back of that window. And then these are the uh, crystals I'm going to be using. They are from the Essentials Collection by Pink Fresh Studio. And just a tip, put them in the centre of your panel where you're going to be placing your window over the top. I initially put them uh, into the back of the window and thought, you know what, this isn't going to work when I want to make sure that my window is lined up perfectly. So that's just a little tip. And then just give it a good shake and they move around perfectly. Now for my sentiment, I'm going to finish with this Never Lose Hope, which I think we could all do with right now. Uh, this is by Penguin Palace. It is a shadow sentiment. You, there's two pieces to it. I'm just using one. And I've die cut it um, from silver uh, the glitter cardstock. But you could create your own silver glitter cardstock with Wow's uh, metallic sparkle uh, embossing powder if you wanted to. And then I popped it up on some foam tape onto the front of that window. And that finishes my card. I hope you've liked it. Enjoy the hop. And be sure to check out the other videos on WoW's channel when you get a chance. Have a lovely day. Bye.